Hi! I just wanted to film an update to my velamentous cord insertion video that I did. So I'm 32 weeks now and we found out at 19 weeks um, that she had this uh, umbilical cord abnormality and so obviously I've been stressing out about it for the last 13 weeks and today was our first and I think last actually growth ultrasound um, because she's growing so well. I yeah, I'm so happy about it. She's in the 45th percentile. She's over four pounds already, which like anything over like three and a half, I was going to be super happy about. So I know it's just an estimate with the ultrasound, but I think it's really great news for her. Um, honestly, I had my hospital bag packed because I just had no idea what we were going to find out today. So yeah, that's amazing. I think she's bigger than our other babies at this point. I never had like growth ultrasounds with them, but the fact that she's already four pounds and they were six pounds at 37 weeks tells me she's doing great. So I'm so happy. I don't know if I'm going to stick with the like high protein diet. I'm not sure. I'll have to see what to do, but it was great news. Also her, the choroid plexus cyst, the extra fluid that was on her brain is totally gone. So that's super great news too. Good news all around. Um, the specialist said, like at this point, with how good everything looks, they don't have any special recommendations as far as delivery and that I can just go into spontaneous labor, which kind of freaks me out because they don't really know how she's going to handle the labor with her cord. So I'm supposed to get to the hospital right away if I start contracting, which is stressful because I have been having Braxton Hicks. So... I hate the whole guessing game scenario, but I'm expecting we might have a couple of hospital visits coming up. I was there last week. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I would like to maybe just my water to break. That would be amazing. Then I don't have to worry or guess if it's happening. So maybe I should pray for that. You guys' prayers have been so helpful. Like, there have been so many people that have been praying for us and praying for this baby. So, if you want to pray that my water will break <laughs> when it's time for me to go to the hospital and I don't have to think about the contractions and all that, that would be great. So, do that. <laughs> um, preferably right about 37 weeks. I don't know. Keegan came all on his own at 36 weeks. Um, and he was actually totally fine and ready, but... I didn't like him being labeled as preemie because he had to have some extra testing done and stuff that was kind of just traumatic, like his foot poked a whole bunch of times. Um, so anyways, my goal is 37 weeks at this point, which is still four and a half weeks away, which seems like really far, but also really close. So anyways, that's our goal I have in mind. And that's the, what I have on my countdown chain is to 37 weeks. <laughs> so she said I could go into spontaneous labor and it could take 40 weeks or 41 weeks. But I'm not planning on that. It's just not how I roll. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. But anyways, great news. And thanks so much to those of you that have commented or like contacted me that have the same cord issue. That means a lot to me. That's why I wanted to do these videos. Um. So yeah, I'm so happy to like give you a happy update so far and I'll definitely update you again after she's born and tell you what happened with the um, velamentous cord insertion. Bye guys!